Yep, I'm back. I'm back. Hmm. Yeah. Two. Two, two. Two, two? Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things. I don't think it's a Wi-Fi, though. I think the whole internet went down for a moment. All right, I think we read this part, right? Yeah, I'll read it again, just in case. Oh, that's what you meant. All right, Quill, goes, Quill grows quiet. She takes a sip of her tea, then puts it down on the saucer. She takes a deep breath, then looks at you hesitantly. For a moment, she sits. Uh, for a moment, she sits in silence, slowly and softly, blinking her eyes until she finally nods at you. Okay, your turn for a question. All right, what's the most dangerous thing you know? What's the most milk you've ever had? Nope. It has to end with no. It has to end with no. Well, closes her eyes and scratches up her face, then shakes her head several times as though disagreeing with herself. Her hands tightening into fists. She makes a growly cat sound before finally blurting out her answer without looking at you. Knowing something you're not supposed to is the most dangerous thing. Seeing something you weren't supposed to is the most dangerous thing. Oh. Seeing something you weren't supposed to. Uh oh. <sighs> Sorry, that answer was very, very big, and it took a lot to lift it out of my head. But please don't tell anyone I said so. It's a secret. I'm only telling you guys because you're my friends. Okay. <laughs> hmm. There's a sudden lo loud knock at the door. Well, jumps her feet and hisses and then disappears down the hall toward your room. A voice calls from outside. Uh, a voice from outside calls in. Police, open up. Hmm. Oh, there's a doorbell here. Hmm. The doorbell rings. You make your way to the front door and look outside. You see the detective who spoke to you last week standing outside. There's a stern expression, and you get the distinct feeling your front door may not survive a legitimate shoulder check from her. Isn't her name Fumi or something like that? It is. I see it right there. Haha. -ha. You open the door. Hello, I'm Detective Fumi. We spoke previously. Damn it, that's suave. I remember. Good. Then we can dispense with formalities. Do we have to? You are currently renting this house from Cat's Meow Vacation Rentals, correct? I... maybe? And you took possession of the property early last week? Uh, correct. He scratches some words onto a notepad. Did you have any contact with the previous tenant? Did you exchange information at all, or did they relinquish the keys for the property to you? 
Uh, no, I just arrived and the place was ready for me. So the place was clean and ready for your arrival on... Monday the 1st. Uh... Yeah. She scratches more notes on her pad. Just a few more questions. Did the previous tenant leave behind any property or forwarding contact information? Um, have you noticed any unusual or suspicious persons frequenting the property? Um... No? Neither. No items or information left by the previous tenant. No suspicious persons. Did I stutter? <laughs> you did not. Alright, good. Very well. That's all for now, then. I'm highly certain we'll be speaking again soon. Me too. The detective turns and walks to her car, an unmarked black sedan. She doesn't look back or make eye contact as she leaves. After a few minutes, you go to the bedroom and find Quill hiding under your bed. Is she gone? Thank you for not telling her I was here. I was worried I would have to scratch her to make her go away. And I don't like doing that. All right, what's cool? Why are the cops after Quill? I'm also glad I didn't need to run outside. I don't feel like being an outdoor kitty right now. I think our tea party is over, but I had a wonderful time, except for the part when the mean lady came and scared me. It was nice talking to you. You make me feel better when we talk. That's a special gift to have. Um, reach under and scratch her ear. I'm going to save it before I do that. Just think about the things you might have seen as a cat. <laughs> Probably saw a murder or something. Maybe something even worse. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, we didn't get Thank a third you. heart. So close. That's another special gift you have. All right, I better say goodnight. I need to go run around downstairs on all the furniture for a little while for no reason. <laughs> Good night, friend. And we did all right. Okay, what I what I said I need to work on suave, one hundred percent swant, one hundred percent. The events of the day play over and over in your mind. How long can you keep on up juggling so many love interests? I don't know. As long as it takes, I guess. You wake to Caribbean uh, limbo music. Your alarm clock asks you. How long can you go? You hit the snooze button. Or how low can you go? I can't read. How low can you go? You hit the snooze button uh, a little too hard. We're going to go with suave again. I feel like I've been using that a lot lately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Right, all right, all right. All right, Quill has uh, left me a few messages. All right. Just, uh, you know, commenting on the, the nice date. As always, so obviously we do pinks first. I've so learned this. So I left it in my car for more than a month before I noticed the smell. Dimitri, that was my car. And now is not the time. We have a customer. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. 
What can I get for you today? Mm. Here you are. Have a great day. What do we have in the morning? Anything? Nothing until the afternoon. We can do a mall event. Or we can do... I'm going to do the mall. Arriving at the mall once more, the usual crowd of shoppers and tourists is buzzing around. And joining in, or joining it, is an ongoing exercise in patience. Okay. Stepping inside, it's almost as if the very concept of time of day fades quickly in your mind. You are at the mall. What time is it? Mall. I'm confused. Here's that uh, girl. I think that's the girl we met that we ran off. Passing by. Can you guys even see cursor? Yeah. Passing by the usual groups of teenagers, elderly power walkers, and various mimes, you actually spot a familiar face in the crowd. Elle is standing outside a store, peering at what looks like a mannequin dressed only in a fancy scarf. It's man nipples provocatively poking out from beneath it. Elle definitely seems unsure. Um, I'll say hello. Elle looks up with surprise, but quickly seems overwhelmed and relieved. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're here. I could really use some help. I've been walking around the mall all day, looking for a gift for my brother. I think Bonnabelle is in the afternoon. There's one in the afternoon and one in the evening, I hope. If not, I, f I screwed up. But I'm so terrible at shopping. All of my family is. My father used to send our butler to buy all of our birthday toys. Luckily, Jeeves was an astute gentleman and always knew which of the Santa Cruz Sally dolls I really, really wanted. But that's not important. Would you consider maybe helping me look around the mall and find something for Dorian that he might actually like? Hmm. I'm not sure if that's cheating, but I'm willing to look past it if you are. I need to work on motivation. Yeah, I'd love to. Let's go. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for your help. Yeah, we could do this. After walking the entire length of the mall, shopping at stopping at every shop. Even marginally relevant to some of Dorian's interests, you and Elle have narrowed the gift list down to a handful of items. All right. So, that leaves three options. Should I get Dorian the box of Q print cigars, the Bolox watch, or the Smell Private Blend Luxury Cologne? Oh. Uh, now, I would personally, if I had a pick between the three for myself I would do the watch um helm on the other hand I'm not sure it's either the watch or the cologne I'm gonna save here but I'm, I'm gonna go watch I think a watch is an elegant gift for a guy hmm you make a good point that does sound like something Dorian would say I would prefer a bonjour shot digital watch myself the kind that yells for its alarm <laughs> Thank you again for being my escort around the mall. It made everything so much nicer having a friend along for the journey. Yeah, uh, my pleasure, Elle. Anytime. Thank you. You and Elle return to the store selling your proposed gift, and Elle surprises the salesperson by paying in cash. The salesperson excuses himself, saying he needs to complete the sale in the back to get change. Oh, I've got to run so I don't miss the bus. Do you mind telling him to just keep the change? I don't want to be late. What? Thanks again for your help. It was a huge favor, and I'll find a way to thank you properly later. Bye! Alright. Hell dashes off waving goodbye and is out of sight when the salesman uh, returns. He asks you what he should do with Elle's change. Keep it. The salesman is ecstatic. He rushes off into the back of the store to tell his co-worker. Gathering up your things, your feet 
uh, aching from a few uh from a you return to your car and escape the mall's clutches once again all right now we're in the afternoon Oh. Did we miss it for real? I could have sworn it said afternoon. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Okay, hold on. Let me check the schedule again. Oh, I am. I don't even know how I didn't. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck me. You're right, dude. I'm an idiot. <laughs> There's something in the evening though. Am I gonna miss that too? Damn. No, you just rewatched it. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, it was the morning. Fuck me, man. I don't know why I, I saw afternoon. We're going to the arcade. I need to blow up some steam. You swing by the arcade looking to see if Mio's around, but she doesn't appear to be working. When does she work? You decide to play a few games before heading out. May as well. Huh? Walking over to your favorite deer punter game, you notice a sketchy looking guy is trying to feed quarters into the machine. The cabinet, of course, only takes tokens, and after several failed attempts, he gives up in frustration, leaving his bucket of quarters on the floor. Once he's gone, you decide there's no real moral quandary with accepting a bucket of quarters from the universe. You take the bucket and head out. Money received? How much? $127 and quarters? What the f- Alright, I'm taking them. I'm taking them. Did I miss it? What? I am- Oh, I'm losing it. I'm so losing it. Why am I? Ugh. How did I do it twice in a row? What's up, Supreme? Welcome, man. Okay, let's look at this. How did I do that twice in a row? After. I really gotta pay attention. That is uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so the 13th. It's the 11th right now. In two days, I have two dates. One is in the morning. One is in the afternoon. Don't be a doo-doo head. All right. All right. Let's go to the beach. I have nothing else, okay? <laughs> I'm going to the beach. And in the beach, uh, as the sun is setting, you find yourself wanting to stroll on the sandy shore without rhyme or reason. The water looks especially inviting, and you eventually kick off your shoes and walk ankle deep into the warm, clear water. Uh, there, appear, there appears to be a luau or a gathering a, a short distance away, but the beach otherwise deserted. For a short while, you stand on the, the break of the sea and land night and day and just take in the serenity. The sound of laughter snaps you back to your senses and you decide to head back to your car. Okay. That helped a little bit. We're going home. We need, we need, we need, we need, we need suave. I don't know. I'm going to run more suave, I guess. You consider doing a night job. It's weird how you seem to be working so much harder on the vacation. You need a vacation vacation. That's the 12th. Nothing's going on on the 12th at the moment. Your alarm goes off. Someone is talking about home renovations. Don't be afraid to ask for help. An expert can give you the tip or the hint you need to succeed. You turn it off. All right, we're also going to do motivation. Oh, I'm going to need money soon, too. Probably. Going to the hospital. 
Taking another walk around town, you pass by the hospital and take a moment to look it over. You can see in the lobby a flock of tourists, all with variations of various vacation woes. Full body sunburns, face smacked, faces smacked by surfboards. Someone appears to have consumed a bat of coconut. As you make your way, as you make way, as you make to continue on your way, you notice a bottle of prescription medication on the ground. It reads, "Take one randomly." Warning: side effects may be schmexy. Are we gonna? There's a single pill in the bottle. The prescription is signed Dr. Thalima MD. What do you do? We're gonna save it and take a pill. Obviously. Despite how insanely reckless it seems to be taking someone's discarded medication outside a hospital, you just do it. We die instantly. The, medic the medicine tastes bitter and it immediately makes you lightheaded. After a few terrifying moments of self-poisoning, you suddenly do, in fact, feel schmexier. <laughs> a small voice in the back of your mind is screaming at you, telling you never do this again, but you manage to ignore it and continue on your merry way. Ooh. Lots of events going on. I think I want to learn more about Quill, so I'm going to head home. But first, it's the 12th. It's a good thing I checked. We have a date with Elle. I'm not going to stand her up again. You <laughs> Excuse me. You arrive at the cafe slightly late after getting caught behind an ice cream truck for several blocks. The place is busy today. The Lotus still gives you a friendly wave. Oh, but Lotus still gives you a friendly wave. Dimitri nods slowly and winks when he meets your eye. Searching the cafe, you finally spot someone with pink hair. You're surprised, however, to see that it isn't L. Dorian is sitting at a table, sipping on an iced latte. He signals for you to join him. Hello. Nice to see you again. Gorgeous weather today, yes? Perfect I conditions suppose. for a cold drink and some shade. Dorian, you beautiful man. How's it going? Markets were looking good this morning, hey? Actually, yes, they were. I love a good bull market. Gets the blood and money pumping. Do you mind having a seat? I wanted to chat with you privately for a moment. And here's the perfect opportunity, since L is temporarily indisposed. Hmm. I'm gonna save it here. I All right. Should we go with this one? <laughs> Very true. I've done more than my fair share of hide-and-seek with L over the years. Usually at dinner time. I just wanted to apologize if I came across as rude or condescending the other day when I we first met. It. it was not my intention. I don't agree with the whole angry father slash older brother stereotype. You know what I mean? Getting out the shotgun, asking, what are your intentions? I've been speaking with Elle, and she's indicated you know about her condition. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, precisely. Oh, I thought he was going to say more. Point, Elle's condition has made her very vulnerable. So, I take the responsibility of watching out for her very seriously. Hmm. So, um, I mean, it's... for my part, it puts you mm -hmm. wherever you think you should be put. <laughs> I'm not Elle's keeper or your chaperone. In any case, L has been talking about you nonstop since you dropped by. And she has that sparkle in her eye imploring me not to be overbearing or difficult. So I shall do my best not to. <laughs> my first effort will be not to explain in grim detail the consequences if i have misjudged your character if you mistreat my sister <laughs> i think we understand each other yeah, i guess that was a good way to put it more than you realize excellent i'm impressed dorian oh by the way here 
a little something to show my sister a good time. The condom. Oh, never mind. What? Hmm. Do I accept? All right. Suit yourself. I should have taken it. No, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that money. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking that money, man. Dwayne turns away from you and he rises from his seat, smiling broadly. Well, there you are. We were just talking about you. My apologies for taking so long. There was a very chatty person in there who wanted to tell me about her nine grandchildren. Oh, wow. I didn't want to be rude. She was very, very proud and had a lot to say about each one. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, well. You have far too much patience for your own good sometimes. I'm happy to see you. Thank you for coming. I hope Dory made you feel welcome. Of course. Uh, El, good to see you. Beautiful as always. Mm. Oh, th thank you. Mm. All right, you two. I'll get out of your hair. Have a great time. El, you too. I'll drop by later tonight on my way home. Let me know if you want to have dinner. I'll have Jeeves prepare more foie gras. Foie gras? That sounds sounds good, Dorian. I'll see you then. Adieu. Adieu, till, till. As Dorian leaves, uh, he waves at Elle, who returns a gesture. She sits perfectly still, a gentle smile on her face, until he's out of view. Once he's out of sight, she seems to relax, returning her attention to you. A bit. It can be a little hard to chat with Dorian around. He has strong opinions. And many, many of them. Secretly, I was hoping he wouldn't find either of us interesting enough to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> was he polite, though? He didn't do his scary big brother performance, did he? Nah, well, I mean... Nah, forget him. <laughs> he would be so grouchy if he heard you say that. No promises, but I'll do my best. Oh, I gotta get closer to L. So, I mean, are L you seems nicer. Your vacation? And that I hope her, so. her strong southern I accent is kind of a turn is good for vacations because, well, I live here. Are there tours? Have you taken any good pictures of birds? Um. Uh, the birds here are world class. I feel like that's dumb, but. <laughs> that's good to hear. A town should always take pride in its birds. Sure. So, you'll have to forgive me, but. I'm not very good at going on dates. Oh, no. I didn't plan any activities or bring any flowers or anything. So, I hope you're not hoping for a surprise cake or turnips. No, this is already a good day. <laughs> well, I know you're teasing me now, but I'm going to pretend that you're bad at it and accidentally making me feel happy instead. Huh. You can tell that L is uh, still isn't entirely at ease. Bef um, oh, shoot, I should add periods here. Before you can figure out what to say next, you notice Lotus coming over to your table. Oh yeah, aloha and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Nice to see you both again. I'm here to take your orders and also to ask if you'd like to make a donation to the Chubby Bunny charity drive today. Mm. Chubby Bunny. Oh, goodness, that sounds adorable. What exactly is a Chubby Bunny charity, and how do we help? 
<laughs> it's so great. Mm -hmm. You guys are getting sucked right in. Chubby Bunny, the Queen Bee Coffee House will give you a free bag of marshmallows. The larger your donation, the more marshmallows you get. But what is it? Proceeds go to the Sabrosa oh, Animal no. Shelter. Okay, that's it what it is. It does, in fact, take care of bunnies. Now, we can legally tell you to put a whole bunch of marshmallows in your mouth because that's a choking hazard. But let's just say you'll be in good company today if you do. <laughs> Looking around the cafe, you notice most people are stuffing their mouths full of marshmallows and trying to say chubby bunny. Chubby Bunny! Woo! Been trading my whole adult life for this. Wow. What do you think? Do you guys want to make a donation? I... I would love to, actually. Uh-huh. How big is the reach in her purse? Um, here, for the animals. I love animals, and I love that oh, I got wow. all that extra money. That's so incredibly generous of you. Thank you. Hold on. I'll go get your marshmallows right away. We're gonna have a lot of marshmallows. Wow. That was so kind of you. What a wonderful thing to do. This is such a thoughtful thing to do. Most of the time, if our family donates to a charity, they send a check and request a donation receipt. Yep, so they can write it off. It loses a bit of the magic, I think, when Daddy is just trying to offset his taxes. But listen to me. Still talking about my family issues. What's going on, Doug? I just need to relax and have some fun. Maybe I can ask you some questions this time? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right, then. Let me think. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm into fitness and training, of course. I should have guessed. Duh. I was looking at those biceps and imagining oh, what... Jeez. I'm not even going to flex. I don't even look at it. Uh, well, uh, I mean... Oh, uh -oh. I thought you looked rather... <laughs> lumpy. Whoa, I'm lumpy. But in a good way. I mean... <laughs> how about another question? This is kind of a strange question. But I'm always interested in the answer. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? Wait, uh, Deus Ire is another visual novel, but I forget what that means. Anybody, uh, anybody can help me out with that? Wait, just don't call her the wrong name? Wait, who? L? I'm gonna save it here. I kinda wanna see what she says if I just tell her my dream. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. Oh, was that the right choice? You hear yourself speak, and a strange, uncanny dread takes you. As though the words are not your own. Elle's reaction is immediate. Her eyes widen in surprise. What? What did you say? For a moment, you're unsure what to say. You fear you may have scared her. But instead, her expression becomes thoughtful. That's a weird, strange coincidence. Someone I know says that all the time. But he always adds, Sauve cyclone in favela. For a moment, Elle is lost in thought, as though strange to remember something. When next she speaks, When next she speaks, the dread is already gone from you. I think it's a poem. Or... I have this game. There's a game of the same name. Um, I haven't played it all because of the, the beginning is very, very long and drawn out. So long. Um, but I can't remember the meaning of it. 
Lettuce pops up suddenly, interrupting your conversation. Okay, guys, I ran as fast as I could. Here are your marshmallows. Whoever can fit the most in their mouth and still stay chubby bunny is the winner, supposedly. Once more, I cannot encourage you to put too much food in your mouth. But, I mean, who's gonna listen to me? Enjoy! Mm. Alright. Look! These marshmallows are shaped like little bunnies, too! Oh. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I think in the in the game, um, it was like anime personifications of the four horsemen of the apocalypse or something in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first or should I? Uh, okay. <laughs> this is so silly. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. Elle starts to stuff marshmallows into her mouth, doing her best not to giggle as her cheeks puff up. At one point, she has to stop and wave her hands in mock frustration. You hand her another marshmallow. She's up to five. She manages to push it in with a delicate finger. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we got it. Al starts to laugh. Her, her lips pucker and barely contain. Her lips pucker and barely contain the mars marshmallows. Finally, she awkwardly chews them and is laughing hysterically when she's done. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means, Hyacinth. <laughs> I must insist you do it with at least four to secure your victory in the interest of fairness. You pick up a bunch of marshmallows, gauging their relative density and squishiness. You feel a high degree of certainty that you can fit six. Elle watches you with eager enthusiasm, her eyes sparkling in anticipation. We're going to save because I'm thinking no guts, no glory. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not doing that because my thing went down. Do four marshmallows, but fail on purpose. Really? You stuff four marshmallows in, but no matter how hard you try, it seems you can't get close to forming sounds remotely close to chubby money. Oh my word. I, don't I had think to fail on purpose. <laughs> Rude. What a bitch. Wait a <laughs> I'm just moment. kidding. If I counted right, I think I won. Wow. I can't remember the last time I won anything. She wants this is wonderful. a wonderful. <laughs> I guess so. Goodness. Sorry. That probably sounds really silly, getting all worked up over a silly marshmallow contest. Oh, you're good. You performed beautifully. You know how to talk with your mouth full. Elle blushes, though she tries not to look bashful. After a moment, she reaches out and squeezes your Thank hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Hey, you two. Sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to give you a special treat for coming in today. On the house. Coffee? Would you care for a strawberry milkshake? Oh, strawberry milkshake. Got two straws. Ooh. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Okay. Cool. That's good to know. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, uh, I suppose we're sharing at least one straw. Yes? Uh -huh. Two straws. One strawberry milkshake. Ah, I don't mind at all. Great. 
right. So close. You and Elle drink the milkshake together, and her expression is one of pure delight the whole time. Oh, would you look at the time? My bus is going to be here soon. The stop is just across the street. You don't mind waiting with me, do you? I don't mind at all. Wonderful. L takes a la uh, L takes a moment to sip her drink to make sure it doesn't go to waste. Her mind seems to wander and she smiles to herself. <sighs> when she stops to take a breath, she smiles and reaches out for your hand. She squeezes it the twice. The bus shouldn't be much longer. I don't need to hurry until I see it come around the corner. It's basically the riskiest thing I do every day. Oh, should I give her a ride? I'm going to save it. Now I'm just saying, uh, you know, making sure I do things right. No. I know this probably sounds a little odd, but I really like the bus. I'm not oh, allowed okay. to drive a car myself. My condition makes it much too dangerous. Oh. I can't get a license. The bus is sort of my way to be more independent. I appreciate it more than I can say. Okay, L turns toward you, catching your eye. She stares at you rather soulfully, as though uncovering the layers of, uh, as though uncovering the layers of you. Finally, she nods, having made up her mind about something. She turns her gaze back to the street and takes a deep breath. You're the only person I've ever dated that hasn't asked me about my hair, about Dorian's hair. Um, I don't really care. Again, I'm going to save this. We're going to save it in a different spot, though. Okay. I can respect that. Thank you. <laughs> Should I have asked her? Okay. Let's, uh... Uh, let's load. Let's load this, because I think it fucked up. Yes. I suppose it was at one point okay i feel like i should tell you this just so you know just so your imagination doesn't fill in the blanks and make you think i'm strange uh, I, I just assume you dyed your hair pink or that you were an anime girl the truth is i keep my hair this way because dorian likes it he likes that our hair matches he likes that i keep it short that's weird this probably sounds so strange to you. It's not that Dorian forces me to keep it this way. He just... He just sort of expects it. Short hair is less likely to get caught on things if I fall asleep somewhere unsafe. But why pink? Pink hair helps catch oh. people's attention. It's girly and pretty. And that's what Dorian's sister should be like. Interesting. It's hard to explain. Lots of family drama over a very long time. Something I don't want. Very interesting and kind of weird. I don't want to disappoint him, I guess. I'm going to save it again here. Because... Yes, he's always been like that. Ever since we were little kids. But it's been getting better, and soon things are going to change for the better, because... Elle's voice stops abruptly, and you can see her eyelids slowly growing heavy. Nope. Her head drops down, and she falls asleep. You prepare to put your arm around Elle to keep her stable, but she doesn't fall. Her breathing is slow, and her breathing is slow and gentle. She really has fallen asleep. You watch her chest rise and fall with each breath. Unable to avoid admiring the soft, supple curves of her body. We're go I'm not gonna peek. We're, we're doing, we're doing a noble, and, and family-friendly stream today. Okay. You turn your eyes away and sit quietly with L until she finally starts to stir. Oh my gosh! I fell asleep. I didn't miss my bus, did I? Nope. We've been sitting here quietly. Oh good. I hate missing the bus. I never leave home without a schedule and bus pass. 
Well, that's true. We never take advantage of women here. As a matter of fact, uh, some of you viewers probably, I, I, you say that, and I assume you say that jokingly, but I think, I think it's kind of true. <laughs> I think it's kind of true to my uh, gameplays and streams. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of vanilla. And also I don't play trainer games because, <laughs> because of those reasons. And you're also a compulsive player. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I think the comment is, is fairly true for the most part. After waiting five more minutes, the bus finally arrives. Uh, as it's coming up the street, Elle stands and gently takes your arm. Thank you for everything today. You're amazing. And before you can respond, Elle leans forward and pushes her, no, pushes on her tiptoes. Her lips meet yours in an impossibly soft kiss. She, she sways ever so slightly back and forth, as though trying to make the kiss more perfect. Her breathing becomes deeper and more urgent, but her lips press and glide against yours, lightening your thoughts on, lighting your thoughts on fire. What's the old, oh, really for, Swift? When she pulls away, she looks into your eyes almost fretfully, as though to make sure the kiss was real. Take care. I'm gonna kiss her one more time. There we go. Elle hugs you close and lets you kiss her deeply. Then she dashes onto the bus before the driver can protest, waving goodbye to you with her cheeks red and her smile complete. You watch the bus drive. You watch the bus drive away, then return to your car. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. So I've had a perfect date with a cat girl, Will, and I've almost had a perfect date with Elle. And she's just letting me know that she had a wonderful time and apologizing for uh, her brother butting in and all that. But you know what? I think we had a, a fantastic time. And overall, from all the dates on this game so far, Els has been the most genuine, it seems like. I, or at least she has had the most genuine um, personality. Yeah? Was Elle's secrets or just the secrets of everybody in the town? Now, let me double check the schedule. I don't think anything else is going on. Obviously, because there's no other choices. Woo. Well, let's go to the town again. Secrets in general. As you walk through the streets of Sabrosa, things become surprisingly quiet as night softly, des softly descends. While there is noise from busy restaurants and bars, the streets themselves become oddly silent, with few vehicles going by. As you round the corner, you see, familiar fa you see a familiar face at the end of the road. It's Cassie. She's leaning, against, uh, she's leaning against the building with her hands in her pockets, staring at the ground, deeply in thought. You sneak up beside her. Give her a booty smack? I'm gonna save and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna bump her with my hip. I think that's the way to go here. Hey, watch where you're going, you lousy. Oh hey, it's you. <laughs> Gosh, I was thinking for a sec, who's this drunk prick kitten fresh with me? Huh. But it's just you. So the answer to my question is you. You're the drunk prick stumbling into me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you. And I'd love to talk, but I got a thing I'm doing right now. So Damn it, I mean suave. We'll chat later. Alright, okay, I'll see you around. Ciao, babe. Ouch. Yeah. Like have I not been working on suave? How how, how suave do I have to be? Seems like suave is the go-to right now. But as soon as I get it leveled up to what I want it, it's going to be something different. 
You check your horoscope for fun. Don't take too many chances. Cats have nine lives, but you only got one. Don't miss your chances. Oh, that sounds like a hint and uh, a warning at the same time. All right, I'm going to get a refill of my drink. We've been going, if you count the last, you know, if you count before things uh, disconnected, we've, we've been going almost two hours, man. I'm enjoying the game. Uh, we're going to go a little longer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to refill my drink. And we'll keep going. We'll keep going. One moment. Uno momento, por favor. Did you ask if I think she wants to smash? Hey, what's up, Damien? How you doing? I, I just saw your thing. Let's see. Uh, hey, I got a question for you. Do you know anything about the game being a dick? Because I can't wait for your season three. Uh, so is the game almost done for season three? Um, good question. Good question. Is the is season three out? I think I think if you're a Patreon uh supporter, like if you're a paid Patreon supporter, you can play season three April uh seventeenth, twenty twenty seven. Twenty uh I mean twenty four. Is that for patrons or is that for public uh hyacinth? You know? Because I thought it was out for patrons. But I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I do plan on playing more of uh, being a dick, though. I just don't know exactly when it's coming out. also plan on playing more, uh, well, I've been debating playing more, uh, for season two of, uh, Fresh Women. Guam is the one I want the most. Okay. All right, let's jump back into the game here. You awaken and energize. Your phone already has messages popping up for today's events. You sh uh, your shower feels particularly refreshing. Okay, that's what I thought, Hyacinth. We're doing suave. Suave all day, every day. Okay, the cafe every morning. And so I said to her, that one isn't mine. Mine is much, much bigger. I'd like to know the context of his conversations. Dimitri, we have a customer. Shush your crazy mouth. She is kind of, she is always demanding. Oh, yeah. She is kind of a bitch. And hello. Welcome to her the brother, Bean Coffee House. 
What can I get for you today? Coffee as always. Here you are. Have a great day. The only place I spend money here. Oh, all right, we got a date with Bonnabelle today. That's a good thing I looked at it. Let's go get some Bonnabelle. We're gonna go get some Bonnabelle. It's so early when you hear your doorbell ring. You're still tailing off from the morning shower, but luckily you are mostly dressed. The sound of the doorbell sends Quill racing down into the basement. The last time she made that trip, you didn't see her for a few hours. You felt reasonably sure she'll stay out of sight. So you toss your towel into the laundry basket and open the front door. Bonnabelle is there. She's holding a full arm load of mixing bowls and various baking ingredients. Her face lights up in a broad smile when she sees you. Morning, sugar. Morning. I have to tell you, you've got just the sweetest little rose bushes out front. I dare say the flowers are almost strawberry blonde. Oh, how? Going to need 80 by the end of the game to get most responses oh man motivation buff lucky and then text okay we're gonna need them all we're gonna need them all give us a kiss i was thinking about you all morning and i don't feel like imagining it no more oh okay monomel manages to lean in and kiss both your cheeks without jostling her supplies she smells like cookies all right sweetheart why don't you show me to your kitchen i got some dough proofing already and we're ready for step two hmm Well, obviously, darling, it takes years before you and your apron grow the trusted bond you need to truly shine together. I see. She wears her apron all the time. But in all honesty, I go through aprons like paper towels, and I'm usually scrambling to find <laughs> nice ones that fit. And it gave me swap points. I'll imagine why. Gracious me, what a cute little house you've got. This place has always caught my eye, but I've never found out who the owner is. There's always someone renting it short term. I've always wanted to ask them why there's so much Nipita Kataria growing out front. They've got bushels of it. Nipita? What was that? Huh? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I guess. I have uh -huh. flirted with the idea of renting a place here in town just to live fancy for a few days. All right, let's talk about Summertime Saga High. Since that's the second time you mentioned it, um, I have seen that there has been some progress on the game. Not much. It's been at 80% forever, and I think it just got to 81%. Um, a little bit. I don't know when the game is going to be finished. It's been a couple years now since they started work on the tech update still nothing very slow progress um and that's uh, dudes add a lot of characters a lot of uh a, lo a lot of stuff is going on um that you must you must be a paying patreon member to be getting all the details or maybe watching somebody who is i'm not gonna pay i'm not gonna pay any money to summertime saga until the game's complete um and i have my reasons like by by the time the game's complete people who have been who have been supporting the game have probably put hundreds if not thousands of dollars towards a video game i'm, I'm never i'm never gonna do that ever i will support people who i think deserve to be supported or people who, who i generally i just like them <laughs> I like them as people and I'll support that's it. But that's all I'm gonna say about summertime saga. I've said a lot before in the past, so uh I just noticed you mentioned it a couple of times, so I figured I'd speak on it. Alright. But then if I found myself somewhere without a properly stocked kitchen, I'd probably wind up fretting about it. Oh man. The two of you move on to the kitchen, and Bonnabelle quickly takes over. She places down her supplies and tools and nods with satisfaction. Perfect little kitchen. Nice and tidy, too. Glad to see it. Of course. So this morning, sugar, I'm going to treat you to some of my homemade Cinnabons. One of my Mama's secret family recipes. 
Star Citizen. I've heard a lot about Star Citizen and like the summertime saga, the Star Citizen of the the visual novel world. <laughs> the secrets are lemon zest and buttermilk in the dough, but you did not hear that from me. Okay. I closed down the bakery this morning for its monthly cleaning crew, so for the next couple of hours, I'm your personal pastry chef. Sound oh. good? That sounds delightful. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just wonderful, Sugar. I'm so pleased I can be a part of this momentous moment in your life. All right, Bonnebel oils up the kitchen counter and gently kneads a large amount, a large amount of dough for a few moments. Then she begins to roll it flat with a rolling pin. So did things not work out with ale, sugar? I thought for sure I had noticed a sparkle in your eye with her. Um, I am going to say this last one. I'm 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 gonna go with you, Flaming. I know we can't please everyone, but I I think I'd rather hang out with L. I'm really curious about her backstory more so than I'm curious about Bonnebel. I see. I uh, see. Yeah, she's uh she's upset a little bit. I see. Why did I even come over here to make you some cinnabons? Bonnebel flattens the dough and sprinkles a mixture of cin cinnamon and sugar all over it. Then, with obvious ex expertise, she rolls the dough into a large rope and cuts it into s even slice-sized pieces. She places the newly cut and much more cinnamon-shaped goods into a baking dish and covers them. Those will need to proof again for a while, so we got some time to kill. Here's where the recipe is called for mimosas and charming company. Mm. Okay, Bonnebel retrieves a bottle of orange juice and a bottle of champagne. She pours you and herself a glass and raises a cheers. Cheers to sweet summer adventures. Cheers to the beautiful bakers of the world. I'm gonna do that one. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I've ever met any myself, but I'm sure they deserve cheers as well as anyone. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even read that part. A few semi scandalous comments you make uh, have her laughing and softly shoving you away. You become aware that she stands closer and closer each time. Finally, her cheeks flush and her words are a little breathless. She smiles knowingly at you. And then a timer goes off. You hear it go ding. Oh! There we are. The buns are all proofed and ready to go into the oven. Let's not keep those little sweet darlings waiting. All right, let's get those little darlings out of the... Fr I almost said freezer. They're not in the freezer, are they? Bonnebel runs across the kitchen, waving her hands delicately side to side, and you can't help but admire the way her breasts bounce as she moves. She puts a baking pan into the oven and sets the timer. She winks at you as she closes Perfect. it. Perfect. Now we just gotta give him about 30 minutes to get all poofy and good. Oh, poofy. I'll make the icing now while we're waiting. Okay. Do you mind handing me two cups of cream cheese? Oh, I mean two sticks. I'll start sifting the sugar. Sugar. <laughs> you walk up behind her and massage her shoulder. Oh, shit. Let's go. Notice some bottom bell rubbing her own shoulders. You walk up behind her and start to massage her. Without missing a beat, she reaches back and pulls her hair out of the out of your way, gladly accepting your kind gesture. That's a hot move. That's a hot move right there. Oh, that feels so good, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Your thumbs trace down her shoulder blades, and you realize her whole back is. A twisted labyrinth of stress and tension. You discover a knot and dig in more for uh, dig in with more ferocity, gripping and kneading with all the strength in your hands can with all the strength your hands can bear. Oh yes, baby. Oh shit! Oh shit! She's getting hot and bothered here. We're we're about to be uh, baking bread. I don't know if you can. That that was a very very. 
you gotta be you gotta be smart to get what I just said there. Your hands suddenly crammed from the strain. This is the most formidable knot you've ever encountered. Frantically scanning the kitchen for support, you spot Bonnie Bell's rolling pin. You reach over and grasp it, raising it in the air like a holy sword of tension slaying. You use a rolling pin to attack the knot, giving it your all. The rolling pin nearly buckles under the pressure, but you finally feel all the muscles in Bonnebel's neck finally release their tension. You're more than a little winded when you hear Bonnebel sigh and utter rapturous relief. That was the best massage I have ever had. Now, I haven't exactly had a whole lot, but in terms of comparison, this was like nothing I've ever had before. What if I give a bow and then kiss her? I'm gonna save though. I'm gonna save it. But I think I can give a bow and then give her a kiss. Yep, see? Bonabelle smiles as you draw closer for a kiss. And she gladly returns it. You share a whisper soft wait, you, you share a whisper soft smooch, and for a moment she stares at you serenely. You're interrupted by the sound of an alarm. Very loud and very close. It startles the two of you. Ooh, those are the buns. They've got to come out of the oven. Look at that. Oh, shit. I forgot that I was cooking. Manuel quickly dons her oven mitts and takes the delicious smelling tray from the oven with practiced. Eh, eh, what the fuck word is that? A plum. Oh, look at my buns. As you salivate over the glorious bounty, Bonnebel's phone beeps. She checks it, and her smile fades instantly. Yes, sir. Sugar, I just got a text oh, from what? the cleaning crew. Oh. They said there's a situation down at the bakery. Something about a gas What? Line. Okay, Bonnebel rushes to gather her things. Then she rushes back to you and kisses I've you. I've got to run after all, but... Well, thank you for everything. Oh, yeah. You know... We know this is gonna be more later. You're gonna have me walking funny for a few days. That was incredible. You are incredible. I wonder if in the uncensored version, if we did something else, why would you be walking funny? I can only think of a couple reasons you'd be walking funny after. You know. Okay. I, I, you know, the American education system isn't. You know, isn't what it used to be. What am I talking about? I haven't gotten to school for over 20 years. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe she needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Maybe she has to go poopy. Make sure you finish the icing and don't let those buns go to waste. Thanks, love. See you again. <laughs> She's just holding it in. She's got a turtle head poking out. <laughs> uh, there we go I'm getting better at the dates I mean they're not as uh, th three hearts is okay but I mean they're definitely better than what I was doing in the beginning the door closes and you saunter into the kitchen you take a moment to look up at your cream cheese icing whip up a batch and then eat Cinnabons until you're absolutely stuffed Absolutely, positively. All right, my darling. I should probably actually read some of these because some of these are like, hey, like little date sessions that don't count as actual dates. Check that schedule. Check that schedule. Oh, let's see. Hey, darling, just a little note from me to tell you I'm thinking of you. I just want to let you know that I had a wonderful time, and I hope we can get together again soon. 
I'm thinking of something really special I'd love to do. If you're feeling sweet on me, take care and have a great day. All right, let's uh, check that schedule. 13th afternoon. I don't think we have anything else going on on the 13th in the afternoon. So we can go to the park. Huh? Yeah, I've got not some of that sometime. Oh, you have a whole thing in front? Oh, okay. Something else. Um, park or or event at home? I think an event at home would be Quill, and I'm really curious about Quill, but I don't know what's going on at the park. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna go with Quill. I'm just so curious about what's going on there. I'm assuming that home would be Quill. As you arrive at home, you can hear the television in the living room on, turned up fairly loud. From what you can hear, it sounds like there's a nature documentary on. As you sneak a look, you spot Quill sitting on the couch watching. It looks like she's taking notes. Lions are active at night and seldom roar during the day. Okay. Watch closely, Sock. This is the important part. <laughs> a single lioness on her own has no chance, but the whole pride of 30 is here. And they are experienced hunters. Oh no, bud. Look away, Sock. This proved that the big pride of lions could indeed bring down an elephant. Okay, okay. write that down. We'll scribble some notes on a writing pad. All right, let's see what we learned today. Big hunter kitties can defeat anyone if they have their whole family with them. The best way to hide is to make friends with meerkats and boars and eat bugs. Wait, what? He was watching The Lion King? And if you have five metal kitties, you can form Volcrum, who is the mightiest kitty of all. All right, we got a Lion King reference. We got a Voltron reference. These are all great new kitty facts, Sock. We should add them to our plans. Maybe we can find more kitties to help. I don't want to eat bugs. Bad kitty off the couch. <laughs> oh. Quill bolts under the couch after a quick moment. She sticks her head back up. Oh, sorry. I thought you were that cucumber I trapped in the fridge. That thing freaks me out. I was just watching some educational stuff about kitties. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One cannot learn too much about kitties. Okay, cool. But I was hoping to get some snuggles in today. Can you fit me into your schedule? Hold on. Let me check with Sock. I have availability right now, but you'll need to add some tummy rubs in there too. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You shut off the documentary and you and Quill wind up snuggling for a long time. Well, there's long asleep when you finally get out of your seat, stealthily maneuvering without no out of out from her snuggles. You decide to let her sleep and get on with the rest of your day. It's the evening time. There's nothing else going on at all today. I've got two events. Two events right now. What we've we've been like um not going to the park lately, so instead of the arcade, I'm gonna go to the park. I don't know I can't remember what's at the park actually. Dropping by the park, you suddenly gain a better appreciation for it in the evening light. It's quieter and much more peaceful. Oh, L L will be at the park, maybe. Walking past the flowers and trees, you get the sudden urge to sit down and have some time for your own thoughts. You find rest you find rest on a bench and allow the world to continue on uh, uh continue on without you for a while. After the night has deepened and the stars are out, you make to leave. Only to notice a strange piece of paper on your side. It says What well, what is most valuable? To be smart, to be beautiful, or to be rich? It seems you're supposed to tear off the part of the note for your answer. Which do you pick? All right. 
beauty can get you a lot of things but beauty is temporary i think yeah this is like a stat thing rich is great but i think ultimately if you're if you're smart intelligence lasts longer than beauty and if you're smart you can use your intelligence to gain riches so i'm gonna go with smart now obviously that's not how i should probably be thinking in this game but i'm thinking about things as how, how i would think about them in reality because i am not smart you tear off the piece of paper that says smart which you note has been oddly perforated assured of your decision you leave the park making sure to discard the paper into a bin you gotta make sure to recycle or at least at least make sure we don't litter all right it is night time we're going we're going home I'm going to keep running um yeah a lot of people would say be rich a lot of people would say money I'm just not um I'm not a money person I'm really not a money person hmm I will have to do a um a playthrough of this game where I only do the um the evil things. Now did I do suave again? I'm gonna do suave one more time in the morning I'll do motivation. I think I'm gonna have to get my motivation up. With the night comes an unexpected chill in the air. The sea breeze is carrying a bit of bitterness. Close the window. Okay. You dreamt of the goddess last night. Or the goddesses. They took you to their bed and made love to you. It was so vivid. You're a little breathless when you awake. I am so smart. SMRT. Little quote from Homer Simpson there, if you didn't know. When you walk in, you notice Demetrius on the phone. Then I said to him, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Of course, that marriage would be illegal in most states. Still... The heart wants what it wants. I wish him all the best anyway. I have to go. I have a customer. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Welcome to the best coffee place in all of Sabrosa. My sister is away at the moment, but I would be very pleased to make your order. Okay, coffee. coming right up. A coffee guaranteed to change your life. I hope so. Here you are, my friend. Be well, drink well. Huh. We have nothing on the schedule. On the beach. Is Eero going to be here? The sand is already scorching hot when you arrive, despite how early it is. You don a pair of sandals and hope for the best. There's the usual crowd of bikini-clad sunbathers and frisbee throwers dotting the beach. The world is your oyster. What do you do? Hmm. Work in your tan, take a swim, and join a game of frisbee. Hmm. This is another one of those situations where I'm just going to work on stats. One of these is going to be suave. Um, what a game of frisbee? You join a game of frisbee with some friendly strangers who don't seem to speak English. Nonetheless, you have a wonderful time and your team wins, you think. Bob, okay. Well, plus three. When the group eventually leaves, you wave goodbye and continue on with the rest of your day. All right. All right, L Eli.
Uh, evening 14th. Eli wants to do a date. Hi, it's a third year in college. What are you doing listening to Sonic song? Just kidding. You can listen to whatever you want to. I don't care. All right. I probably will stand Eli up again. <laughs> uh, oh, an event at the coffee shop. I've got nothing. Oh, wait. Eli Day, the 14th. Today is the 14th. Oh, it's in the evening that I have a date with Eli. Let's do this one. I haven't talked to them in a while, like in an actual date setting. As you arrive at the Queen Bean, the cafe doesn't look especially busy. There are a handful of people seated at the tables outside, but the inside is practically empty. She puts the door open and are immediately greeted by Dimitri, who throws his arms open as though he's about to give you a hug. Ah, Cyrano has returned. The great lover and poet is back to share with us flirtatious wisdom. Oh, uh, we're we about to help out a sister again. Lotus, come out here. It is time for another lesson in love. Oh, I'm bored already. No disappears in the kitchen. I told you seventy-three times. Do not ask for help with my love life. Come on, Lotus. You already know it's coming by. I was seventy-three because I get back on the chalkboard. Look at all these little stick counters. Oh, Lotus, 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 Lotus. Surely you do not want to pass up a chance to find love. Please, Lotus, think of the love. Well, let's say I take it things didn't work out with you and them. <laughs> oh, but they did. But Lotus was afraid to continue the chase. Nim is sweet, and we had a great time, but I'm not sure if he's the one for me. Oh my god, Lotus. Oh, I'm sharing my personal life. Look at what you made me do, Dimitri. Please, sister, just one more harmless crash course, and then we shall award our friend with delicious coffee, and no one is hurt. I'm pretty sure it's my pride that'll be hurt. Not to mention the embarrassment. Aha, she did not say no. Let's let the love teaching begin. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Next customer who comes in, you must flirt with, Lotus. Mm. Our lovely friend Serrano will signal you important love wisdom if you get stuck. You will be successful if you can secure the person's phone number. Sound good? Do you All right. have to make my personal life sound like a competitive sport? Mm -hmm. You won't abandon me, will you? Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. I would okay, never abandon you. I'm ready. Just then, the front door opens and a customer walks in. A girl with white hair. The girl's incredibly attractive with large breasts barely contained by a bikini top and jean shorts rolled up to the top of her thigh. Liz begins signaling frantically to you that this is a bad idea. Dimitri gives you the thumbs up. This is Kali. She too is well known for her flirtatious ways. Mm. Um. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Aloha and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Is there anything I can get for you? <coughs> Darling? Mm -hmm. The girl. Mm. I had a piece of ice in my mouth. The girl puts both of her arms on the display case and starts eyeballing the small desserts. Um, oh, this is this, Kelly. I need sugar. Mm, I need to eat something sweet before I die. Why don't you eat me? Have you got anything that can save my life? Like something that'll blow my hair back? 
Oh, ha, ha. Oh, well, actually, a lot of our desserts are top notch. We make most of them ourselves, and some are from a local baker who's phenomenal. Do I'm you have a baker. preference? The girl looks up at Lotus and smiles. <laughs> no, but we have something that'll blow your back out. <laughs> well, I definitely have a thing for caramel. Oh, shit. Callie is up for the... She's up for it. Lotus's eye... Lotus's eyes widen in surprise. Dimitri's do as well. And he gives you a secret thumbs up. Like, oh, shit. That's... That's good. I... All right, well, I'm going to save it and we're going to flirt back, right? I think we're going to flirt back a little bit. Well, um, I think we have caramel available if you want some on a dessert. Heck yes. That and a little whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Well, do you like banana bread? That one is my personal favorite. Oh, I like them all, sweetheart. Bananas, peaches, whatever mm. kind of food you've got. Oh, that's good. I also like those things. Hey, look at us. We've got so much in common. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me check out those desserts in the back. Oh, shit. The girl leans over the counter to get a better look behind the display. Her skirt hangs a little low and... And Lotus begins to blush. Ooh, I'm, I gotta save it again. So should I make a double entendre? Signal her to compliment her figure or signal her to brush up against her? Oh, oh man. Is it time to get physical? Just don't know. Let's compliment her figure. Lotus gives you an evil stare, but nonetheless takes a deep breath. I, um... I don't know how to tell you this, but... You have really nice... She misses her chest and makes a curvy hand gesture. The second... Oh, the girl looks over and laughs. Why, thank you. I like them. They help get me into trouble. The girl goes back to looking at the desserts while Lotus blushes in obvious All embarrassment. Right, I've decided. I'd like a chocolate muffin with caramel sauce. Ring it up. Yes, of course. Will that be all? I think so. Unless you've got any other recommendations. I think so. Oh, uh... Little Lotus to jump into her arms. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, we gotta do another save. Sorry. I'm gonna signal Lotus to uh, ask for her number. Uh, no. Here you are. That'll be four dollars. Here's a fiver. Keep the change. What? <laughs> Thank you. Um. Oh shit. Lotus closes her eyes as though her next sentence hurts to say. Do you think I could uh, get your number? The girl smiles, she licks the muffin, and then she takes a bite. Then she reaches over to the till, takes a pen, and writes something on the napkin. You bet, babe. Give me a call sometime. Nice. We did it. We did it. I I'll try. I mean, I will. Cool. See you around. The girl takes a bite of her muffin, then walks out with a noticeably bouncy stride. After the girl is gone, Lotus lets out a relieved sigh and Dimitri rushes to hug her. Lotus, you did it. You flirted with a customer who was very flirty back. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. That was so crazy. Your suggestions kept sounding crazy to me. But, well, they worked. I don't know if she was quite my type, but she was pretty attractive. I think everybody in this game, okay, everybody in this game is, uh, um, uh, what's the word? I mean, bisexual, I guess. 
Oh, yes. She was trouble. But she knew it, and she brought enough to share. Mm -hmm. Even though that was insane, I actually have fun. So, thanks for your help. You did great, Lotus. I gave you crazy suggestions, but I knew it didn't matter. She was into you. Oh my god, Hyacinth's back. Oh my god. Lotus gives you, or, or Lotus goes to say something, but instead she uh, uh, only smiles and nods. Here, to thank you, I will make you a cup of my Super Brew Supreme. All right, that better give me a lot of stats. I think a lot you'll of points. find them more stimulating than our house blend. Lotus goes into the back and then hands you a to go cup. Oh, you are in for a treat, my friend. Okay. But we have to get ready for the rush, Dimitri. And it's your turn to clean the grinders. Trust me, Lotus. I am an expert <laughs> at grinding. Don't be weird. <laughs> As you wish. Take care and make sure to visit us again. Look at all that. I got a double of everything. Just a... It's the evening time. I think it was a good choice going to the coffee house. Um, I'm always checking the schedule now. It's the 14th this evening. I got to go on an Eli date. I don't want to. I don't want to. A winery. What's more important? I am not going to enjoy the Eli date. Do I have to go? How important is it? I really don't want to go. <laughs> I should stop telling Eli that I'll go out with him. Like I'll go on these stupid things with him. The hospital would be fun, probably. And the winery, I've never been there. Sorry, Eli. I'm just not that into you. <laughs> walking through the vineyard just after sunset, you're surprised when the lights turn on, revealing a familiar figure walking in the same path. Just ahead of you, with her back turned, you recognize Eros strolling. Ah, oh, what? Eli's sister. Uh, she seems to be fiddling with a flower, with a flower she's picked and talking to herself. Run up and say hello. You jog the, mm, you jog the distance between the two of you and say hello. Oh, hi. Fancy meeting you here. Mm. Did you hear me talking to myself? Are you wondering if I'm crazy? No, but should I be? Probably not, but I am, however, the gal who drags you out jogging at ungodly hours, so... So the answer is yes, but actually no. Hmm. So what brings you out here? Um, secret pervert stuff I can't share. <laughs> well, I'm going to save it, but, but that, that's going to be my answer. <laughs> you weirdo. How come you always have something strange ready to say? Do you rehearse? No, but I save. So if I, I'm wrong, I just go back and pick the other option. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. I don't want to know. It ruined the mystery. Mm -hmm. Well, I come out here sometimes to talk to someone. Someone who's not around anymore. You know, heavy stuff. Just mm -hmm. because this place was special to them. Say no more. I'll give you a high five and say good night. Thanks for understanding. And for the high five. We'll meet up again soon, all right? Mm-hmm. Take care. Good night. 
You head back the way you came, and then you turn back, wave goodbye. Your has already disappeared into another row of the vineyard. So if I would have snuck up, would I have overheard her talking and maybe learned a secret? I feel like I may have. I feel like I, I probably would have learned a secret. Crickets uh, serenade you as you leave. How long have I been playing? I've been playing a minute, huh? I've been playing for a bit of a minute or two. Hmm. All right. Suave is really high up there. I think motivation and luck are something that need to be worked on. Or... I mean, I can make $5,000 making some money real quick. There we go. <laughs> Two weeks down, you keep expecting to wake up at home. Your cell phone empty of all of all the new faces you met. And it makes your heart ache. Um, 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 we'll do one more day. All right, we'll do one more day and then I think we'll wrap it up. When you wake, you open your window to get some air and know that it feels different. A little colder, perhaps. Maybe nothing, probably nothing to worry about. I don't know. I think it's probably something to worry Uh, let's see. My current time is about an hour and a half. You count the time I disconnected. That was almost an hour. Two and a half hours, maybe. So, yeah, I think one more day will be about three hours. So, not that I'm keeping track or anything. Whoa, what, what? Okay, whatever. Oh, that costs nothing? All right, Eero's not, or uh, Eli's not gonna try anymore. Your, your shopping bill's about to be insane. <laughs> uh, so, all right. I, I'm trying to figure out if Cassie's a drug dealer or a prostitute or something else. We got a couple uh, events going on right now. Uh, for the 15th, I have nothing on my schedule. I haven't gone to the pizza place yet, so we're going to head over there. As you walk toward the pizza shop, trying to decide if you want good pizza or weird pizza tonight, you get a funny feeling in the back of your mind to pay attention. All right. Everyone. 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 Pay attention, okay? One more stream, like you're talking like three more hours, or is it something I can finish up today? Pay attention. Quill's cool. Quill's cool people and uh, L's cool people. The two people I like the most so far are Quill and L. Um, now in Crush Crush, uh, who is my favorite person? I think we missed an opportunity for Anon, or maybe not. Anon may not have been someone who we could, uh, who we could have in this game because Anon technically is a Yandere, uh, Yandere Chan from Yandere Simulator, and um, 
we're n not going to talk about that game anymore. <laughs> Uh, it's something I had high hopes for, but the developer. Ah, yeah. Um, as you, oh, I already did that. I already did that one. Oh, never. Oh, you said that probably not. It's there's 31 days. We're halfway through. We got at least two, at least two, probably three more streams ahead of us. <laughs> And then, what game are we gonna play next? Who's your most favorite? Ooh, um, ah, I don't know. In this game, I, I, so I could probably say in this game who my most favorite is. But of all the characters that could possibly appear in this game, I, I couldn't tell you because I can't remember them all. But I, I, I don't think my favorite was any of the ones that have shown up so far. There's another girl that was like very provocative excuse me in crush crush i can't remember her name but i know she was very flirtatious and i think she was like some sort of model or a cam girl or maybe an adult actress um in crush crush i can't remember her name but she was just a fun character uh in this game it is definitely l l is my favorite so far I think um, I think her situation has me the most intrigued. Like uh, out of everyone, Quill and her have me the most intrigued. Uh, Cassie a little bit, but she's kind of a bitch, so that kind of like you know. Oh oh shit! I forgot about Mio. Mio is so straightforward. I mean, she's just a cool gamer girl. Um, so as, as far as who I would go for. If you know, if uh, yeah, that's that's tough. That's tough because I forgot about Mio. <laughs> but I, I like Elle's story. I'll say that for sure. I like, I just like the, in it's intriguing. Okay. Whose work? Mio. Oh, interesting. I just need to refre refresh Hyacinth. Um, I I encourage you all to play Crush Crush. I'm pretty sure it's free. Um, because that's really where you get to introduce to the characters. Oh, you have an int. <laughs> that's right. She is a cam girl. We learned that in the last ep uh, last stream. All right, you look around and spot two girls sitting at tables outside just in time to prevent them from seeing you. You see right away that it's Cassie, but the other girl is harder to make out. She's wearing sunglasses and a ball cap. That's when it clicks. You realize that it's Alpha. Alpha is the, um, is the uh, pop star incognito and sharing a table with Cassie. You decide to get closer and hear what they're saying. And that's exactly what I told them, Al. I said if mince number five smells like a grandma to them, then that was proof for their garbage genetics or their sense of smell. I'll tell you what I like about Alpha. Um, her her voice is unique. Oh my goodness, that was so harsh of them. <sighs> they should not make fun of anyone for how they smell. Especially grandmas, because they're so cute and small. Uh, yeah, like her her accent is what is... Uh, I can't place like her, her the, the voice actress's nationality. But um, she's got an interesting accent. It's just unique to all the other characters. You bet your cute little booty. My Nona had heard them say that she would have stuffed them full of apple peelers on account that she never stopped making pies. Your Nona sounds wonderful. I wish I had a Nona. I only had linear algebra and an effective neocortical template. 
I'm not gonna pretend I understand what you're saying, Al, but I'm still agreeing with you. Thank you. That's very kind of you to do. Hey, what can I say? I'm just good people like that. I agree. Interrupting their conversation, you hear someone's stomach rumble. Cassie makes a face and leans forward, putting her head on the table. Why do I gotta hang outside Luigi's? <laughs> oh yes, I know what that sound means. It means your tummy is empty. You should fill it. All right, Hyacinth, there's always something I say. There's two different... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what, what you said to your words, that could be anything. You don't like potatoes? How uh, interesting. Ugh, potatoes disgust me. That's why I never watch it. Doesn't make sense, but hey. You're a ligma male. <laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> you watch my videos, right? I learned about this recently. Aren't bodies funny? Always making silly sounds to tell us stuff. Well, I wish mine would send a text instead. And maybe think about getting a job or something, so we could afford pizza. Hmm. Oh, I'm very sorry, Cassie. I would be pleased to buy pizza, but I never carry around stuff like money, ID, or basic medical supplies. Yeah, he said it. So, hey, do, do you, that's all I can say. Don't watch it, you don't watch it. Not for everybody. Oh, that's okay, Al. I wouldn't accept anyway. It's not like we're on a date or nothing. I just enjoy the company. Me too, Cassie. More than I can ever tell you. So I just called in a pizza order. You bust out your cell phone and place a digital order for a large pizza to Luigi. You hang around for a few more minutes until the front door busts open and Luigi happily brings out a pizza pie to the two girls. Cassie and Alpha are confused, but Luigi says it's from a secret admirer, which is enough to cause them to celebrate. The two girls seem delighted and they continue eating, laughing and gossiping. You had on, you had on your way, deciding not to interrupt their nice conversation in progress. Oh, okay. All right. Your issue is paying for something you should enjoy doing with an actual woman. Most of that stuff is free nowadays, though. I mean, technically. I seem to remember needing some money towards the end. Are you talking about the game now? <laughs> I'll have plenty of money. <laughs> so, I gave him $400. And he said he'd get it back to me by next week. Dimitri. That was very foolish. But save our story. We have a customer. He was always scolding him, like, all the time. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. 
What can I get for you today? I will just say, I'm not here. I'm not here. Same thing every day. I'm just taking a large coffee and then I'm gonna head to the beach because it's the only thing I can possibly do right now. Every time you head down to the beach, there are beautiful people in bikinis. So you decide to get some bikini therapy and swing by. You take up a spot on the beach, the ocean completely filling your view and decide to do some people watching. After a little while, you see a familiar face with an even more familiar set of boobs. It's Mio. And for a moment, you don't recognize her in sunglasses and a bikini in the sunlight. But again, the boobs. Rather than going over and bothering her, you decide to watch what she does. Wait, let's hold on. I'll, I'm going to take a break. Uh, I'm going to read the comments real quick. Oh, in general, uh, plenty of it is free. I think more, uh, I think more like the cam girl only fans where people pay to have interactions you should get from a woman normally. Totally, totally, you're totally shaming people who pay for it or, or sh is that shame, shaming? Uh, what, uh, it, it, it. So, uh, okay, you, okay. <laughs> um, there's a weird dynamic. I think the reason the girls do it, I see it's become more and more prevalent. The reason the girls do it is they're looking for money. Like, like uh, this has probably been since the beginning of humankind. I don't know, but everybody is in, in, in this weird thing where they just want, 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 and it's money, success. A higher status whatever and they'll do anything to get there and because um guys people whatever are looking for someone to latch on to and it's always like a, a guy is always looking for a female to latch on to even if it's a female they can never acquire they'll latch on to it and pay money for it um and girls um or individuals can see that they can do something um, which kind of lowers probably what their standards would have been they'll do it because they know they know they're gonna get money for it and I, I've been drinking a little so I'm I'm probably kind of rambling and not making sense um, Yeah, hi, I said, calm down, everybody. Just calm down. <laughs> um, it, it's like uh, some weird perpetual, like, people keep going after it, so. How can we put this? I don't know. I, I don't know. The internet has created some things that we can't uncreate or undo, okay? That's the basic, that's the baseline right there. It's made it easier for us to seek things that we want. And then it's made it um, easier for people um, to be successful or make money doing things that normally wouldn't be accepted. Your brain has shut. Everybody's brains have shut down. We've gotten into some weird territory here. <laughs> yeah, I, this is a conversation I should probably have when I'm a little, um, when, when I haven't had a couple of drinks in me. Now I think a lot too. I think a lot too. Um, and I kind of, I, I like, I'm on a, like this back and forth thing, like where like, like do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you, you know, what, you know, what, it, whatever it is that lets you live your life. But there is also, there is also some things that you got to take in, into consideration. Like it, you may be happy now, you may be loving life now, but you also got to think about the future too. You got to kind of look at the big picture of, of all these things. And, um, 
is it really beneficial whatever you're doing if you're like a cam girl or cam guy even um and then i'm 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 somebody who's never going to spend money on uh like an of page or anything like that like uh could i give an example of something where i was like hmm that seems intriguing but i'm not gonna spend money on it too many people make bad choices and go whoa is this me at the end of my at the end of the day yeah there's always going to be um I don't want to say there's always going to be consequences. There's so as long as you're, Hey, if, if you're proud of yourself at the end of the day, if you're proud of what you're doing, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Live your life. That's basically what it boils down. To. But there will be a day when you're going to have to like, you, you look back on things and, and, Kind of own what you the choices you've made you're you're not gonna be young forever <laughs> let's put it that way uh I, I i heard a comment and this is it has nothing to do with like uh like the extra girl streamers or anything but uh, the, like uh I, nick Merckx, uh plays call of duty he made a comment about Dr. Disrespect being old and maybe not being that good at the game and just, I don't know, basically something like that. Like, he mentioned something about Doc being like 42 years old and, and like, and, and my thought was, I'm pretty sure he was joking and, and it was like, you know, all in good fun or whatever, but I'm like, you're, you're going to be 42 one day too, man. It's like young people never realize that they're going to be old eventually. So, or older, I don't think 42 is old, but they're going to be old. They're going to be in that spot. What are they going to be doing at, at 42 years old? Anyway, re age comes for us all. Exactly. Flaming age comes for us all. Have, have, have a, a, uh, wider, uh, uh, I can't think of what exactly I want to say, but have, have have just a, a more open mind, a wider focus when when you say things, when you do things, when you make choices. Think about the long term. Probably the best way I can think. Whatever you're gonna do in your life, make sure you think about the long term before you do it. And you'll probably be more successful, and more and and happier. All right, all right. Rant over. Rant over. Uh, life lesson over. Let's get back to this. Uh, <laughs> Let's get back to this head tie game. <laughs> Getting everyone. This is a family friendly stream. There's there's absolutely no relations going on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Young people, if you're watching, if you're watching, you're not gonna take my advice anyway. Well, you're young people. You you never take a. You never take people's advice with wisdom. Yeah. Not hentai at all. 100% art. I don't care what you say. There, there's a good story in this game and other games that I play. Uh, um, a lot of uh, shoot. Give me a visual novel that I played that did, didn't have a good story. Anyway, we're going to watch what's, uh, we're, uh, who, who are we listening to? Mio, right? You see her spread out a blanket, pop up an umbrella and sit down to get comfortable. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I, I think I tend to, to pick visual novels to play that are actually, that actually do have good storylines and aren't just smut. I, I won't like, I may play one once to demo it, 
but if it's just if it's just a visual novel full of a uh, uh, smut, I don't uh, tend to continue them because like they're not they're not savory to me. I'm one, I actually do enjoy a good story versus all the um, the scenes, but that's just me. I actually I'm one of those weirdos who plays for the story. <laughs> All right, we're, we're getting sidetracked here. We got a game to play, everyone. <laughs> yeah, um, Hyacinth, you may be younger. Uh, yeah, you're, yeah uh, if you are the age you just said you were, you're younger than me twice, at least. Um, anyway, um, Something, 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 only to take out a portable gaming console and start playing. So she's at the beach and she decides she's going to take out uh, her little handheld gaming device. You laugh in spite of yourself and are mewling over uh, whether to go over and bother her when she, uh, no, when you see her hit the side of the console and curse. Damn it, stupid thing. I just got you back from repairs. Curse you, drifting joystick! Curse you, Mia Momo! Mia Momo. Hmm. You see her toss the console aside in anger. After a few moments, she breathes a uh, she breathes a huff of disappointment and then lies down. You see her unhook her bikini strap and begin to suntan angrily. How do you suntan angrily? <laughs> After a minute, she appears to be snoring softly. What do you do? Sneak over and fix her console. Oh, okay, let's do that. Because we're tech savvy, we can do things like that. You quietly sneak over to her blanket and pick up her console. Using your amazing tech knowledge, you know that you can fix most drifting issues by using the console's locate me vibration feature. Is that a is that a real thing? Does anyone know if that's a real thing? Uh you do just that, put the console down and sneak away. Once you're at the safe, once you're at a safe distance, you text her, letting her know that thoughts of her were drifting through your mind. It kind of does sound made up. Made up. Usually, anything I've seen on drifting issues has been you got to uh, take your controller apart and maybe clean things, and then sometimes get replacement parts. Once you're, oh, I already read that. Uh, you see her awaken to the sound of her phone alarm. She sits up momentarily, flashing her breast before she covers up, grabs her phone, and reads it. <laughs> After a few moments of being very confused, she reaches for her console and turns it on. She fiddles with the controls and then laughs. <laughs> she looks around for you for a moment, then texts you back that you're a creeper. Then she thanks you and sends you a kissy face. She shuffles back under her umbrella, fires up her console, and a moment later you hear the sounds of orcs being killed. We are a creeper. You pack up and head off to continue the rest of your day. Literally, that's all we did. Yeah, just blow on it. Really, is that? All right. Oh, Mia's asking me out on a date. The winery, oh. All right. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, Tuesday the 16th? Well, I would love to. I would love to. We've uh, actually been having great dates with Mia. And I've kind of, you know, we haven't talked to her almost the entire stream, so I kind of forgot about her this stream. The 16th. Wine at the winery, whoa! <laughs> Mind blown. Now, let's see if there's anything on the schedule. It's the 15th, so tomorrow we have a date with her. What would I go to the hospital for tonight? Should I go hang out with Mia? Should I? Or no? Yeah, me? Or should we uh, open up a new event, maybe? 
We're gonna get hang out with Mia tomorrow, so let's go to this hospital thing. The hospital seems somewhat more menacing tonight as you walk past it. Something in the air seems off. As you pass directly in front of it, your foot kicks something on the ground that you hadn't noticed. It's a prescription bottle of medication. A painkiller of the, well, that feels good kind. What do you do? Don't touch it. Return the bottle to the hospital. Take them home and take them. Um, let's return this bottle to the hospital. You pop it in the hospital and hand the bottle to the security guard. He grunts his approval at you. You suppose soon after that you should have just thrown them away, but you never will know what could have happened to them. Well, a sense of goodness, you bid the hospital adieu. That was nothing. I should have gone to the arcade. I keep thinking I'm going to meet somebody, you know? That's why I keep picking these things. Damn, Hyacinth, calm down. All right, we're at a uh, we're at pretty uh, pretty good levels here. Uh, let's go with Buff today. Mm, yeah. Now Buff is at thirty. The, in the darkness, you hear raindrops hitting your window. You briefly open your eyes to see the water dripping down the pane, and then you're drifting off to sleep. All right, it's a new day. It's the 16th. We have a date later, um, but I think we're gonna do that in another stream. I appreciate it. everybody coming by. Thank you so much. Like I said, we're gonna wrap this thing up. We've been going for a couple hours, um, actually three hours if you count the last, you know, the first part where uh, the internet told me no. But uh, yeah, I think I think we're doing all right. Um, come on, do the date? What date? What date? You want me to do the date with Mio? Was it Mio? That's in the afternoon, isn't it? Let's look at the schedule. When is it? It's in the afternoon. Oh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> do we want to do the date? We can do the date real quick. We'll do. Okay, we'll do. We'll do one more day. Okay. Your alarm goes off and it's home improvement. It's a home improvement show. Now, even though this is a do-it-yourself project, you're still going to want an electrician to come in for the wiring. Electricity is no joke. All right. Um, what are we going to do now? Let's do some tech savviness. Yeah, I mean, I, I've tried to end it because I'll keep going. I'll keep going. What? Hold on. Oh, this is Eero. We're definitely going to be there. For I thought it was Eli. It's like, what? He's still trying? All right. So we got a date with Eero later. But first, we need to hit up the Queen Bean and get our coffee fix. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the best coffee place in all of Sabrosa. Hmm. My sister is away at the moment, but I would be very pleased to make your order. What can I coming right up? Here you are, my friend. All right, now we're going to go to the town and do town things. While walking through the town, you spot, uh, you spot a familiar face. Um, window shopping at one of the clothing stores. It's Dimitri, and for a moment you think he's inspecting a scantily dressed mannequin in front of the window. <laughs> Working up the nerve to ask her out. I think I think the first one's hilarious, but I I want to go with the second one. You, yeah, you suggesting this game, Flaming? I don't think you're. You, I, th I, la, 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 la. I don't think you're her type. You have a head. Yeah, I'm gonna ah, go with that friend. one. Good day to you. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, I see your point. 
That explains <laughs> why I can't seem to catch her gaze. I love it. I, I mean, I love this game. I love the characters. Like I said before, uh, I've, I've liked the characters since Crush Crush. But no, I am not admiring the fine craftsmanship of this plastic Venus de Milo, but rather the scarf on the one next to it. I am shopping for a gift for my sister, you see, but I am not so good at this. I always wish to give her things which will embarrass, but secretly delight her. But it is becoming too predictable. Mm. So now I wish to go for the fatal blow. Something sentimental and sweet which will make her cry. Do you have suggestions? Hmm. Let's see, a scarf is good, but wrap it around the actual lotus. But wrap it around an actual lotus? Maybe uh, donate to a cause in her name? Nah, go for inappropriate, but tell her it's something sentimental. Hmm. I think this one. Hmm. Very interesting. Yes, I think you may be on to something. A gift not from a store may get extra points. And Lotus, she loves the animals. A donation may do the trick. Wonderful insight, my friend. My friend, for your help with this, I shall share my super secret fail-proof method for making women fall in love with you. Really? Dimitri leans over and whispers something in your ear. You actually can't quite make out what he says. But somehow you feel an increase in confidence when he finishes speaking. Take my secret and go. But use it only for good, <laughs> not evil. Who has an accent? What? Me? I have an American accent. Oh. <laughs> I don't and know what's now happening. I must shop. Farewell. Whoa, swab up to fifty. Dimitri leaves and you carry on. Not totally sure what just happened, but otherwise feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good about it. When the hell did I get six thousand dollars? <laughs> this sixteenth afternoon, I got a date with Mio, and then, oh my God, I have to fucking bail on somebody. I'm gonna have to bail on a hero. I I'd rather go with Mio. I I don't like doing it. Ugh. We're going to the winery. Um, I've heard Aussie girls like American guys. Is it just an American accent? Or is it something else? That's just a rumor I heard and I can't remember where I heard it. How many times have I bailed on someone in this game or in real life? <laughs> uh, I haven't bailed on anyone in several years because I live with my wife and she'd, she'd come at me if I had bailed on a date with her. In this game. <laughs> yeah, it's probably screwed up the order. Um, most of the days I've bailed on have been with Eli, and then there's a couple I missed on accident. 
I've only, um, have I built on something in real life? Um, I don't, I didn't do a whole lot of dating, but there's been a couple opportunities that I had for, um, uh, let's just say there's been some opportunities that I've had just to get, um, you know, get my rocks off. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Like a long time ago. Um, that I, I definitely did not take advantage of because I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I don't wanna. But I can't think of a, like where I stood somebody up on a date or anything. I don't, you know, I think that's typically a girl thing. Okay. I think women are more apt to bail on a date than a guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we're at a vineyard right now. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on here? Arriving at the vineyard, you see Mia waiting outside, sitting on a fancy stone fence, swinging her legs back and forth. You manage to walk right up to her before she notices you, and even lets out a startled yelp when she finally does. Ah! Oh my goodness! Sorry, <laughs> you startled me. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I was really deep in thought there, I guess. Unless you're a great deal sneakier than I thought. Mom, let's see. I'm a ninja. It's time you knew. <laughs> I mean, who isn't these days? You know, I've lived here for basically forever, and I've never done a wine tour. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. I mean, they drive you to the wine. They give you all the wine. This is a genius idea, and somehow I've been missing out. Hmm. I think she's a fool, that's the only answer. Yeah, exactly. Not the first time. <laughs> Won't be the last time either. Now, I notice there's no wine out here. So let's stop doing out here and let's go in. Yay. You and Mio enter the lobby. It's a lot of, it's a lot colder inside than out as uh, the AC seems to be on full blast. <laughs> Why is the world so hostile to ladies with chilly bodies? Half the places I go to shop or hang out, I feel like I need to bring a blanket. How's a cold-blooded girl supposed to make it in the world? Hmm, I'll keep you warm. Apparently, <laughs> by moaning about it. Hold on. Are you saying I can give you the Tauntaun treatment? Cut you open and wear you like a... Wow, I'm not gonna finish that thought. That joke sounded a lot less psycho in my head. Yeah, maybe... Moving yeah. on. Once you make it to the tasting room, the uh, whatever that means, offers you, uh, uh, you and me a glass of white wine. She assures you both it's a fancy wine worth your time. Nerd. Ooh, this one is good. I actually prefer whites in general because reds sometimes give Whoa, me tummy aches and migraines. <laughs> And before you give me sass, I don't just mean the next day. So stow away those smart aleck comments I hear you brewing up. Mm, I feel attacked. That strategy only works for a little while for me. Before I'm waking up on my floor and realizing I've texted all my exes to tell them I miss them. Uh -huh. Hey, look, wine. I'm gonna drink it. So, kidding aside, how's the vacation going? Half over, right? Yeah, Are you on track right. for all the trouble you wanted to cause by now? Yeah, not bad. I'm I'm burning through cash, so I need to find a better way to supplement. To be honest, some days I'm actually getting more of a sense of deja vu. I don't know. Oh, I hate that. It makes me feel like I'm stuck in a video game and I'm playing kind of bad, so I have to keep doing the reload of shame. Mm. Well, at least today is different, right? We haven't gone out and consumed fancy booze during the day yet. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, God. yeah, probably flaming. Unlike yours, I'm a little behind. <laughs> That's funny. Um, as you and me will finish up your first glass, that person comes out with a second. And this one appears to be a rosé. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think I want to dye my hair this color. The uh, person jokingly reminds you that one generally spits out the wine after tasting into into one of the wineries many fine silver buckets. I think that might be against my religion. Tell you what, we'll consult legal counsel and take it into consideration. Mm-hmm. You guys can read, right? Spitting out wine. <laughs> who does that? Quitters. That's who. Quitters and spitters. And in the adult entertainment industry, those two are the same thing. Oh shit, she's a swallower. Mm. One, hold on. One of the other guests looks over their shoulder at Mio, giving her an unimpressed look. We're probably with we're probably around some snooty company right now. Whoops, I might have said that a bit too loud. As the two of you finish your second glass, you hear the sound of a text message alert. And Mio takes out her phone. She pokes at it for a moment, but suddenly becomes irritated. She holds her phone in front of her mouth and scolds Grr. it. Phone? There is no message. There's no message. Please stop notifying me about ghost messages. Ghost is so pushy. Right? If I was a ghost, I wouldn't be lighting up some poor girl's phone. Backstory I'd incoming. Be... I don't know. Scaring birds? Something. Ugh, my imagination broke. I probably uh, accidentally uh, pushed the wrong thing and skipped the message. Sorry. That probably sounds like the least important of all first world problems. But I feel like it's going to drive me insane. Let's see, I might be able to fix it. For real? Actually, you think you I'm can so fix it? Savvy. You're not just yeah. playing with my emotions? No. Sure, thanks. Knock yourself out. The next step I'm most likely to try is dropping it into the ocean. But you take a crack first. All right, Mio swipes open the phone and hands it to you on the settings menu. While you're doing that, I'll BRB. The wine decided it's done with me and would like to head home. Oh. Good luck. I'm thinking fix it thoughts. All right. You take it with Mio's phone for a few moments and spot the issue right away. It's definitely something even a technical person would likely miss. The fix only takes 30 seconds and and you're left without wine or company. Swiping through Mio's phone. Mm, excuse me. Swiping through Mio's phone once more, you find at least 50 game apps. Which all seem to be up to date and regularly played. Tamping Amino's pictures folder, though, you're met with a password. Close the phone and wait for Mio. I haven't worked on any of the bad guy stuff, so I can't hack her phone and look at her uh, maxi photos. You wait while also, um, while also willing the uh, person who brings us wine to return. Mio practically jogs her way back, doing her best not to actually run, but her mouth is wide with happy hey, anticipation. Hey, hey! Did you do it? Is it fixed? Uh, maybe. You hand the phone back and nod gravely. Oh my gosh! There are no new message pop-ups! You did it! Oh my god! You're my hero! I was seriously ready to drop this down a hole and swear off texting forever! I feel like I should bake you a cake or take off my armor to reveal my bikini or something. Uh, how does a well-adjusted adult show appreciation again? <laughs> <laughs> Mio kisses you on both cheeks and then plants one on your lips. She rubs the back of your neck and Thanks. smiles. <laughs> totally the biggest reaction your phone. Thank you. And the moment 
the person who brings you wine returns it's noticing that your fancy spit bucket remains unused she is slightly more hesitant to give you the next class don't worry we're professionals professional winers unless uh the wine is so good we're having trouble deciding how many bottles to buy hmm. this pleases the person who brings you drinks <laughs> Who happily has you eats a glass of red wine? Look at you, smooth talking the wine gal into giving us the wine we paid for. Okay, I've been waiting for a time to ask you some stuff. And now seems like as good a time as any. Okay. I've got some difficult things to ask you about. Stuff I need to know before I can decide if this relationship can continue. Oh, wow. This is going to get serious. Are you ready? Yeah. This won't be easy, but we can get through it. I'm suddenly very concerned. Bring it on. You're already tipsy. How dangerous can you be? Do not underestimate my power. I have the high ground. Okay. I mean, wait. The low ground. The low ground? Is that what it's called? I, I, I have the high ground, Anakin. Whatever, I got a lightsaber, bitch. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, question one. Which princess? Daisy or Peach? Oh, God. Uh, oh. What? Bowser. I'm thinking Bowser. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta save him though. I want to pick Bowser. <laughs> I really hope you mean Bowsette or whatever. Okay, that didn't work, actually. Actually, I was thinking of dressing up as Bowsette for a stream the other day, but looking at the cosplay. Alright, let's go with um, Peach. We're gonna go with Peach. Peach, isn't Peach like the original? I think Peach is the original. Right? Gosh, I don't know what it is, but there's just something about how girly she is. All the pink, the super feminine voice. Gosh, I don't know. It just pushes buttons inside of me. I didn't even know we're there. I mean, I've probably got some baggage from my childhood sprinkled in there too, but really, who doesn't? Okay, here's a trickier one. In Otoroku Bakari na Magiko Sakanateshi, there's a scene where Sumi tries to seduce Kaito at the Donut Festival. My question is, how many times should the writers have had them get it on instead of the zero times they actually did? The sexual tension was insane for those two, and they were so perfect for each other, and they would have made each other so happy and arg. Huh? I am not over this, and I'm not watching their stupid reboot movie franchise because I saw Kaito's design, and they got rid of his hair loopy things. So now, I don't want him to sweep me away to his bed anymore. Anyway, go ahead and answer. What? About as many times as I wanted to do the same to you first time we met. Hold on, I'm saving. Again. Whoa! Wow, I... That's cool. I really <laughs> like that. She, she did like it, but uh, she's acting funny about it. I have I don't know. I don't know how I got through that conversation. Sorry. The snap back to reality is sometimes a little too jarring for myself. Yes, I also think you're smexy. Mexy. What was the question? Ah, uh, never mind. I can tell I only asked it because it was something upsetting and I needed to vent. Huh. All right. This person returns and Mio quickly chugs the rest of her glass. You're feeling a slight buzz yourself at this point. And the fourth glass Fourth glass seems taller than usual. Ah, very nice. Good year. Nice bouquet. Huh. All right. This is the third glass. I don't know. I have no clue.
An ice wine? What does that mean? <laughs> ice wine? Like, this wine tastes really ice? What? Like, nice, but ice. Okay. All right, she's drunk. All well, right. I forget the rest of my questions. Did you have any questions for me? Hmm. Maybe something nerdy to make me feel better about my personal interests? Which anime makes you feel most like you? Hmm, that's a good question. You know, there's this one anime I just finished watching that I haven't been able to get out of my head. The anime is called Doki Doki Gaia Senki DX3. What the fuck? And it's probably not actually my all-time favorite. Let's just say it's my temporary favorite. Okay. My summer fling, if you will. It's a Yandere story about this boy who discovers that he has the power to kill people with his mind. But only if he's kind to them. That's kind of weird. So the whole show is him trying to be as kind as possible to all the people who are awful to him or who are just his romantic rivals for this girl actually. he falls in love with. <laughs> it's heartbreaking because there are times when he's trying to use his power to defend himself. Like he's getting beat up and he's trying harder and harder to be nice to the bully. And then he can't be nice to the girl he loves because otherwise... <sighs> well, you see the dilemma. <laughs> that is such a weird that is such a weird premise that is such a weird premise am I tired? do I look tired? that's just because I'm old yeah <laughs> that's what I said when I read up on the storyline so okay as dumb as this sounds my favorite part of the anime isn't the yandere It's actually the senpai, the girl that the main character is in love with. Maybe, maybe. I, oh my god, it's past my bedtime. No. Haha. <laughs> And it's because, well, I feel really, really connected to her. She doesn't have the most screen time, but she's written in a way where she's just sort of a quiet character. Like, the loudest part of her is actually the world just dealing with her. Mm. Every time she's on screen, she says something that gives everyone a little boost, you know? And as a result, all this misfortune befalls her. Mm. Interesting. She's got stalkers. Her friends keep dying. Her family is weird, and probably abusive, and so on. There's all these dangers, and they're always drawn to her because she's quiet. In fact, they're drawn to that quietness. To that peace about her. They're starving for it. Ah, and I love her. And she's pretty, and she dies, and her death is beautiful. And Jeez, spoiler, I, I guess. Kinda wanna, I kind of want to watch this anime. Is this based on anything in reality? Is it all made up? Like, is any of this uh, like actually a description of a real anime? Wait, what, what, what? What, you think I'm going to fall asleep on screen or on stream? There's no way. There's no way, because after this day, we're wrapping things up anyway. You guys aren't convincing me to do another one. Like, this is the date that you all wanted me to do before we wrap the stream up. I'm young. I'm, I'm young. I'm young. I was just born, like, not that long ago. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, Flame. It. It's not going to work. All right. Will you? Oh, the only kinda, one in I life right do. now is someone it's to talk so to crazy. about this story. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly, but whenever the universe makes me feel this way about a certain character or story, I feel like I need to slow down and pay attention. If you watch it with me, well then, you're good people. 
Woof. I think maybe I should have used that spitty bucket. I'm already mm, a little inebriated. You are inebriated. That's what you get for not eating breakfast and lunch, I guess. Oh my god, you Even haven't eaten today? Even if all you want to do <laughs> is spit into the cosplay you just bought. I don't think I want to hit the next place. Do you want to just go get some fries or something? Okay, but you're gonna have to do most of the bouncing because I think this floor is a bit slanted. All right, on your way out, Mia tells the person that she's had a wonderful time. No one seems to mind that she's a little tipsy. It is, after all, a wine tasting. <laughs> Once you're outside, the fresh air uh, perks you both up, um, and then you catch Mio giggling to herself as you call a ride share and look for a place that serves rides. <laughs> it's so weird sometimes. Well, I've officially outed myself as a big weirdo nerd. I, I don't even know what's weird. I should probably leave the anime analysis to the professionals. All those teenagers on YouTube. I found all that pretty insightful, actually. Just saying. Oh, well, thank you. Come on, man. Come on, let me get that three. Look, I'm going to do something I would normally never do, but I think I've had enough wine to do this. I want to give you the streaming address for my show. Yes! Just in case we're not super clear on the details, I play video games naked. All right. People tip Let's me go. money. Yay. Sometimes I do more than take off my clothes. That's right. She plays games on the bait. The chat. Er. Bait. It means I'm a big fat bot. And the internet hates me and loves me at the same time. It's very confusing. Let's go. I want you to watch it. And then I want you to talk to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I don't get quite as heated or opinionated on stream as I do in real life. But you get to see boobies, so everyone is happy. I'm happy. Just watch <laughs> it, please. I need someone else to know. Someone to talk to about it. I pepper live... Oh wait, I pepper private stream. <laughs> oh, and then I want you to pay money. that for me? Thank you. I know how weird this sounds. And I know the wine probably isn't helping. Just have money, trust me. <laughs> or it's helping a whole lot. I don't know. I'm just going to have to pay her. She's found a way for me to be her sugar daddy. Like um, through some weird means where it's not direct. Meal is quiet for a while as the two of you wait for the ride share. She plays with her hair and bites her bottom lip in a way that's kind of sexy and sad at the same time. Before the ride share arrives, she says one more thing. I have a stalker. Oh, shit. That's her secret. Man, she just blurted that out. That's, that's like not a good thing. Mia seems to freeze after she says it, looking at you side-eyed. She literally holds her breath until you respond. <laughs> no, no, not here. At least, I don't think so. There's this guy, or gal, I suppose, that follows my stream. They've donated a lot of money to me over time. Every time I auction off a make-me-do-anything stream, they always buy it. They've sent me a lot of emails. Emails asking to meet me, or to talk on the phone. And those ghost messages you fixed? Every time they went off, I thought, maybe this was it. This was the stalker finding me. Hmm. It's just possible I've met them. Man, you got me thinking now, Flaming. Damn you. <laughs> the first person I thought of was Quill.
Because, I don't know, she's in trouble with the law for some reason. Who wouldn't have a stalker if you stream that kind of stuff? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say you... I, I, I think... Any internet, any celebrity has someone who is obsessed, who is obsessed with them. Um, call me Chris if you know if you know who that is. Um, she was a, a TikTok person, now YouTube. Uh, uh, she had a stalker. She doesn't do any of that stuff. I I, I think if you're in the public eye, you tend you tend you're going to have somebody who is kind of like. A little too involved in what's going on. You no, know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have a Labrador who won't leave me alone while I'm streaming. <laughs> All right, but seriously, but seriously, um, yeah, I don't think it, maybe it's more so for, for females, uh, personalities they might tend to have more stalkers than others but i don't know it's, it's an unf it's an unfortunate thing when people think because somebody's online and they're being nice which is usually the case somebody's being nice to me and they're a girl and they they must like me i need to we i need to profess my love in person weird And, and yeah, exactly. Flaming. I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty of like males who have stalkers as well. And and then both guys and girls, I would say, get plenty of haters too. Guys and girls. I, I think the hater thing is a is a bit different and not as. In my opinion, not as uh, serious because I mean, it can be, it can be 100%, but like for comments alone, like I've gotten plenty of hate comments. It's for, for, for dumb stuff. The funny thing is I've, I've gotten more hate comments or more negative comments. If I play or upload something like call of duty related, <laughs> I think that's hilarious, but I've also gotten comments. Um, more on, on, I was uploading, um, like clips on Facebook for a while. Um, and I got more like negative comments on Facebook for the same stuff I do here on my channel, uh, where people are, are calling me terrible things, but like, whatever, who cares? Yeah. But the, the ones who wish violence on you and think to, um, act out that violence those are things that happen to some people and that's that's just insanity just insanity uh yeah i've got a public facebook for um for the scavenger brand um i don't really use it that often uh it's there but it's uh kind of every now and then i'll go on there and may, maybe post something or post a link or whatever um i don't post as much I was trying to like have the Facebook, the YouTube and the Twitter or whatever. Uh, it's a lot to take care of, especially when you're one person. Yeah. And I almost never use my personal Facebook either. It's sort of maybe why they were driving me crazy. No, they haven't done anything illegal or alarming or anything. They're just... They're really into me. Hmm. I'm their senpai, I guess. Now I'm, now I'm guessing because flaming what the comment you made, like who is this stalker? Somebody I may have met. Um, I've mainly only met I, there's only two guys i can think of and it's dimitri and and um, eli the rest are women the only person that has tons of money i would say is uh um l's brother uh shoot what's his name i already forgot his name he's not important to me
people I met while dating Mia. Oh man, I can't think about it. Um, um well there's the dude and there's a ch there's a chick in the hoodie. I don't remember their names. I don't even know if the dude had a name, but the chick in the hoodie I've met and I've seen her a couple times. Hmm. Was that right after my date with Mio and I got killed the first time? What is her name? I I'm sure we'll run into her again. The dude though, I don't. Hey, go to bed, man. This, this this stream's about over. We're at the afternoon on this day, so as soon as we hit the evening and we go to bed, this stream is gonna be over for the stream. This one alone has been almost three hours, which means we've been doing about four hours now. All right, when the ride chair arrives, Mio actually squeezes your arm before you get into the car. I think I'm actually going to walk home now. Oh, it's shit. really nice out, and I don't live far from here. Okay. I just need a walk. I got a lot of thoughts in this silly brain. Um, you want to take the ride chair? I can walk. I'm going to save right here for some reason. I just feel like saving. Especially I feel like now she's going to get killed at any moment. No, I would much prefer to walk right now. Okay. Thank you. But I mean, it's a good offer. Mia leans over and kisses you. See you later. Thanks for everything. Of course, of course. Don't watch Doki Doki Gaia Stinky DX3 without me. Oh, yeah, of course not. I would never, I, would, I, would, I couldn't even imagine doing oh, such no. a thing. Oh, no, and I'll cut you. I'll text you the website for the stream. Bye. And we're about to be able to watch her stream. If this was the DLC. Mia walks away and the ride chair takes you to French fries. <laughs> All right. Uh, decent date. Decent date. Great day. Great day. Date. Evening time. What's going on now? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot that I left her. Oh shit. No, I don't hate you. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, wow. Well, sorry, hero. Something came up Wednesday the 17th in the afternoon. Works for me, though. Please forgive me. Alright, she's cool with it. Alright. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we got an evening event at the hospital. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably just going to be some, some, something simple. Feeling an odd pull to go somewhere new. You decide to stop at the hospital. I mean, why not? It's not new, but we're, we're going there. You walk into the lobby feeling a little out of place as you see assortments of people with various degrees of needs a hospital. A nurse is eyeing you, and you can tell that you're already being judged for your not needing a hospital vibe. I clicked it before I read that last part. You see a sign that says, read to a child event right now. Read is spelled wrong. For a moment, you think that it's an odd typo, but realize that but, but realize that it's intentional. The sign has a photo of L attached to it. Oh, L, read. You sneak over in the direction it's pointing before the nurse works up the gumption to play security guard. Can somebody spill? Ay, 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 noob. Yeah, I called you a noob. Uh, walking down the hospital hall, uh, it only takes a few minutes before you find the right room. Sure enough, Elle's in there, sitting in front of a huge group of six children, holding up a book. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Which story do you think we should read today? 
There's an explosion of answers and, th and enthusiasm from the crowd, and Elle giggles at some of their suggestions. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know the one about Kitty Katsunova. How about Jack and the Beanstalk? I always like that one, because I don't care much for beans. The kids laugh and agree. After chatting amongst themselves, they suggest chocolate is better. All right, then. Once upon a time, there was a poor village where no one had any food. All of the food had been taken by an evil giant with pink hair who lived in the clouds and bossed everyone She's around. She's talking about her brother right now. The kids booed generously. I'm no fan of giants myself, but then I don't watch much football anyway. All right, I get the, <laughs> I get the connection there. Al giggles, uh, though the joke goes over most of the kids' heads. Let's continue. Al continues to read, and you can't help but feel a little dreamy listening to her. Her calm energy kind of takes over the room until all 40 kids are spellbound and silent. They are... Are blah, 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 until all 40 kids are in spellbound silence listening. But just as Elle's getting to the part where Jack cuts the beanstalk, she falls asleep. You see her head dip forward, but thankfully she doesn't fall out of her chair. The kids suddenly become worried, and one or two of them begin to make fun of her. Oh, call her Sleeping Beauty, hell yeah. In your most heroic voice, you point out you point at Elle and say, Oh, my, it's Sleeping Beauty. All the kids spin in their seats wondering who spoke, but you can see them instantly become more interested in the idea. They whisper, Is she really Sleeping Beauty? And, Wow, Sleeping Beauty. And I knew she was Sleeping Beauty the whole time. After a, sol after a solid and somewhat tense two minutes, Elle stirs again and realizes quickly that she's had a spell. But she's greeted with 40 inquisitive children asking if she is indeed Sleeping Beauty. You see her smile, and she has to dab away a few tears. Well, I'm not sure. I'm at least sleepy. Do you really think I'm Sleeping Beauty? The kids agree. It's unanimous. Elle beams and says softly, her voice cracking a bit with emotion. Well, thank you. That was very nice of you to say. Let's continue our story, shall we? Elle continues to read the rest of the story, and you decide now is a good time to split any. Uh, now is a good time to split away unnoticed before any of the kids give you away. That was cool. That was cool. I, I, I'm like I said, I'm I'm kind of digging Elle's storyline um, more than the other ones right now. It seems like the mo it seems like the most genuine one right now. Uh, what are we going to work on at this juncture? Um, I'm going to get motivation again. And then when we do another stream, if I remember, we'll do buff or we'll do some more suave or something. Anyway, th there's music on the radio and things seem oddly peaceful. You only feel a little tired this evening. All right. It is a new day. Okay. It is a new day. We are going to save here. Uh, all right right here it's saved it is time to wrap this stream up that is it no more convincing me to do another day because that whole day took about an hour itself so no no i appreciate you guys hanging out with me i really do flaming hyacinth um everyone who came by i i can't even go through the list i know there was swift screen here and i know um 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 <laughs> oh shit where are you at where are you at I, where, did you even comment did you delete all your comments supreme creep i know i saw he, supreme creep commented in, the, in the, the stream that got cut i say i know supreme creep came in here uh and then there's a few other ones that came by i can't remember everyone um but I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support and hanging out with me. This this is a fun stream, fun game. Like I said, I really enjoy the characters, and I'm glad they were able to put together like a a good story to do a visual novel for these uh, Crush Crush characters. Um, 
if you like this and you you know want to see more and you want to hang out more make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on that way you can always see when i'm going live um for those of you who uh, are old enough and also want to see the spicy content that uh, obviously i can't stream or show on youtube i do a stream once a week on saturday where i i, I do a visual novel stream on discord so if you're a patreon supporter of one of the paid tiers or your YouTube memory, you can watch those on Discord. I'm trying to make it every Saturday. I did my first one last Saturday. I plan on doing my next one tomorrow. Uh, you can come in and catch me on there. You watch a live stream. Right now we're going through Ripples. We're playing the Ripples game. And then uh, for those of you who are not in one of those tiers or one of those categories, I am uploading later to YouTube. I just did an upload yesterday or two days ago i can't remember um of part of my first stream so you can see that if you'd like to see it are free and censored that's all i got for you guys that's all i got i thank you again so much for hanging out with me and um i'll see you again soon you guys take it easy have a good night bye bye